Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Oh, your life, you was only waiting for this moment to arrive. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird, fly. Blackbird, fly. Into the light of cold darkness. Listen. We're talking. I just finished reading when I finished. I was I'm like two thirds of the way through because you know as Tanahashi coach, he writes these long articles in uh, in the Atlantic, and basically he was talking about the uh, presidency of some October night, late October night, when they had this affair at the White House. A lot of black folks were there, and uh, and you know it, it, uh, it was um, uh, alluding to the fact that you know oh well, this was beautiful having all these black people to think it'll be the last time you know the the, the last the big affair they had. There's a lot of celebrities and stuff like that. And uh, and you know, I got about two thirds of the way through the article. You know, he writes these long articles in Atlanta. I may or may not finish it. We'll see what happens. But interestingly enough, um, we're entering an era that um, I call it uh, the pendulum is about to swing. Let me just turn this fan off. It's hot here in the uh, hot here in Alice because it's summertime in South Africa. Um, and Anyway, the the the, uh, the thing about it is that this was the first uh, American African president that we've had. I say American African because basically he's done uh, the bidding of, uh, or you know, still hasn't done anything to destroy, actually support the Anglo, the system of Anglo racist white supremacy. So uh, so basically, uh, black folks. They have this opportunity now with the uh, uh, neo-fascist led by uh, one Donald J. Trump, the next president of the United States, in a few days, maybe sometimes going to be official when the Electoral College comes in. But what, what, is our, what, what should we be doing, you know, because with, with uh, the brother president in the, uh, in the White House, everybody said, oh, it's so nice, you know, and in fact, this, this, this affair, you know, uh, they, they had, uh, everybody was dressed in their nice, you know, suits and stuff like that, suits and ties, you know, black or, or gray, um, you know, the, the West European way. Um, everybody was, uh, you know, when their best behavior, cell phones were taken away, blah, 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 that whole thing. Um, but, you know, and of course the president sang and he danced and he, uh, he had that smile. He had that smile, you know, um, and acceptable. So, so basically what I'm, but I guess what, what this is, that, that pendulum uh, uh, that we're talking about swinging, that was when, let's call it the integrationists, the people who want to integrate into the United States of North America, uh, had, their, had, their, had their guy and they integrated in. Now you see what your integration has wrought did nothing for the downtrodden, of course, but we're not talking about them right now. So what's, what's, what's the response? What should be happening? Now, uh, if the pendulum is going to swing, the, I, I think the absolute wrong response uh, is to uh, jump on some sort of bandwagon, get up some sort of vanguard that we would be uh, uh, running after and reacting to the neo-fascists, to the, um, let, me, let me not call them by any names, let me stop calling names because I'm, I go by it. The uh, compensatory concept, you know, nearly full of genius code. Um, anyway, I'm not going these. But the next president and all that that person is bringing in, um, rather than respond and, and, and try to, uh, I say, in respond, react. Because remember, it's, it's like a, if you start reacting to something, they, they throw some stuff and you react to it, so you become like the, this hamster wheel gets faster and faster. So you're actually running the hamster wheel. You should just go onto our side and uh, uh, basically, get a black s a strategy, if you will. Uh, that's the, that's the correct response. Um, actually, this 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 uh, fight that is going to be happening in the next four years, if there is a fight, is uh, this is like uh, it's like one of those uh, like World War Two because everybody relates to Hitler, whatever have you. Let let the white folks fight the white folks. Let them be the vanguard. Black folks, we should be, um, how do you say, laboratorying and strategizing for the next phase after they've had their fight. Where as they, uh, you know, like let's like World War Two. You know, they first had the white troops come in, then they said, oh, let's the black troops come in as, as uh, you know, the truck drivers for the gas or whatever. They do those dangerous jobs, and you know, they come in and mop up or whatever it is. 
hey, that's, that's our job in this particular fight. Uh, it, 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 let, let, let them have their fight. Let them exhaust their whatever they're going to exhaust. I want to think something else, because remember, they were, uh, Tanahashi Coast was, was really talking about domestic issues, didn't talk about any foreign thing, didn't talk about the fact that, that Africans were killed uh, during, um, uh, during, during the, the, this drone presidency that, that we just had. And not, not the fact that the, the, uh, the Africa has been um, militarized. Uh, it's amazing, you know? And so, our thing really is to, is, is to be clear about what, what our strategy should be. And our strategy definitely needs to be uh, the liberation of black folks uh, on every level, not just domestically, but also, of course, globally. That's the strategy. That's what should be happening. Like I said, ignore these other things, ignore these distractions, as uh, Neely Fuller Jr. would say. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm of the, um, I'm of the, what we call the, the, uh, well, I'm wearing a Steve Biko t-shirt. Uh, I'm of the Steve, the Biko, the Chris Hani, the Amakal Cabral, the, the Thomas Sankara kind of stripe, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not a, with, with this stuff. In fact, it's interesting because, um, uh, Obama called in this in this the, the Tanahashi Coast was was mentioning that Obama called where's Dave where's Dave talking about Dave Chappelle and Dave Chappelle is really an amazing cat because he had a really interesting analysis of, of stuff like that but remember Dave Chappelle's mother was on uh, was was an advisor to a close associate of Patrice Lumumba. So Dave is no, no idiot, you know what I mean? This is very, very interesting. And it's also interesting that, that it's the comedians. I'm not talking about those, those uh, comedians that keep on jumping on those, those uh, late night comedians. I'm talking the, the, the comedians that actually read books, you know, like Trevor Noah, South African. Well, I'm impressed about Trevor, he's, he's, he's smart, but he also reads books. You know, I was impressed when I heard that he, he, he was reading James Baldwin. Come on now, hey, you can't get no better than that. So anyway, um, uh, so, so we, we have uh, the next four years is going to be, be quite interesting. And for this pendulum to float to where to liberation, you know, instead of getting up on, on one side, which will keep on going towards the, 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 the let's call it fast, whatever you want to call it, side, we need to go towards the liberation side. So that pendulum needs to swing back. And maybe now when, the, when, when everything is told, when, when the legacy is clear about what really happened with the brother president's legacy and presidency, then uh, people will start to wake up. People will start doing what they, what they need to do. What do they need to do? They need to liberate the downtrodden. That's just uh, my opinion, me being T from the Pattersons, taking the chance to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.